ChatGPT is a type of artificial intelligence model developed by OpenAI. ChatGPT is capable of engaging in human-like conversations, providing answers to questions, and even generating original content. Well, it's official. We live in the future. Future! And no, I'm not referencing the free trial we have for our Shopify Ecom Freedom group. That gives you access to the first three modules of our course and just shows you the insane value you get in our community. If that is something, however, you are interested in, definitely check out the link below and give the first three modules a watch. But what I am referring to is AI and how AI is completely changing the industry. As a business owner, I'm sure you're well aware of the laundry list of things you have to do on a daily basis in terms of you know, planning out your inventory, making sure all the customer service emails are replied to, coming up with new marketing campaigns, writing ad copy, typing out emails, SMS campaigns, the list goes on, it's never ending, right? What if I told you there is a new way to free some of your time up and leverage the power of AI to streamline some of those processes? Sounds too good to be true, right? All right, so without further ado, let's hop right into the program that I am referencing in today's video. Uh, we are going to be going over this program called ChatGPT. Now, essentially, this is a newer platform, program, website, whatever it is, um, and has already had like a million users within the first week. So people are loving it. And I wanted to make this video to kind of test the limits of, you know, what can this AI software actually do for us e-commerce owners or business owners that are looking to, you know, streamline some of our processes. So jumping right into it, let's ask this AI, uh, give me a list of 10 products within the dog niche that are selling well. All right, so dog food, dog toys. Yep, I mean, these are, okay, dog beds. Yeah, so, so far, I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, putting out some good, good solid products that are, although maybe, you know, no brainers, it's nice to kind of have it all compiled here rather than searching through Google and, uh, you know, compiling it all myself. So I do like the ease of use and ease of information that this kind of brings to the table. And there's 10. Now there, I want to dig a little bit deeper. So let's pick one of these. So we'll do, give me five specific products uh, under, we'll do number four, dog collars and leashes. Give me five specific products under number four. All right, yep. So leather dog collar, of course, nylon, Got it, reflective, okay. Martingale collar, hands-free leash, got it. Around the waist, okay, yeah, not bad. Let's see if it, let's see if it can continue going. I mean, I don't really know what the, where it stops, right? The power of the internet. Okay, personalized dog collar, I like that one. GPS dog collar, electronic dog collar, harness. Okay, cool, so honestly, I mean, that broke it down more than a head collar, I don't, I don't even know what that one is. Um, so all in all, some pretty good results. So let's let's take it a step farther. Let's see if we'll do using number six. Give me unique marketing angles to sell on. Here are a few unique marketing angles to sell a personalized dog collar. Customization, safety, of course, style, got it. Touch of personality, durability. I mean, ultimately, it's still up to the business owner to kind of pick out, pick and choose what we can and you know shouldn't use in this ad copy because again, we sell ideal outcomes, we wanna pull on emotion. So, but I will say there's there's a lot of good stuff we can kind of pull from this and I'm pretty blown away to see you know how quickly and how efficient it pulls information from who knows where, I guess all over the web and compiles it in a nice, you know, easily digestible uh, place for me to just use right here. So, so far I'm, I'm giving it, you know, I would say like an eight out of 10, nine out of 10, uh, I'm pretty blown away. So now I wanna see if we can use this AI to write some really convincing ad copy. So what I typed in and it stopped recording, but I typed in using the book, how to write copy that sells, write ad copy for a personalized dog collar. And so far, wow, I'm, I'm actually blown away. I mean, it says, uh, here's the ad copy for the personalized dog collar inspired by the principles outlined in the book, how to write copy that sells. So this thing, I mean, has just saved me essentially, you know, the whole time that I could have been reading that book. Now I will say you probably should continue to, you know, read marketing books, you know, expand upon your fundamentals, because again, this AI is not perfect, but it definitely can add value to your business. So are you looking for a unique and special way to celebrate the bond between you and your furry friend? Our personalized dog collars are a perfect solution. With the ability to choose your own text or design, you can create a collar that reflects your dog's unique personality and style. Wow, I mean, you know what? For being AI, that is 
that is amazing. If English isn't your first language and you're wanting to kind of write ad copy for you know your product and you wanna sell it in the US, this is a great tool. I would recommend it. I would probably work on just making sure you're pulling information that is makes sense to the market you're selling to, but yeah, definitely uh, am blown away so far. Anyway, so let's continue on. Let's see if we can click regenerate responses and see if we can continue to, uh, you know, pull out more emotion. And you know what else? We can just ask it, say, um, can you rewrite this with more emotion? Because ultimately, like I've said in my previous videos, when selling products to uh, consumers, you need to make sure you have some marketing angle that, you know, pulls on emotion or solves a problem because at the end of the day, um, you know, people want their problem solved. And if you can pull out their emotions, you know, people are buying ideal outcomes, not just the products themselves. So rather than saying buy this dog collar because it's leather, just you want to really say like, you know, keep your dog safe and blah, blah, blah. So I just asked the AI to rewrite the, the ad copy that I had previously had it write, but with more emotion. Right now it says, uh, your furry companion is more than just a pet. They're a member of your family. Show them how much they mean to you with a personalized dog collar from our collection. Not only will these collars make your dogs stand out from the pack with their unique style, but they'll also help keep them safe by featuring their name and your contact information. So honestly, I'm, I'm pretty blown away already. I know we've, uh, you know, tested platforms like copy.ai, but I mean, chat GPT completely blows us out of the water and really takes it to the next level. So what we can do from here is obviously you can use this to, you know, help you formulate some of your ad copy. Can you write a headline for the copy above? Celebrate your furry friends, unique personality with a personalized dog collar, keep them safe. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, can you make this shorter? Personalized dog collars. Yep, so I mean, honestly, again, uh, it seems like, <laughs> I wonder how short this will actually go. Yeah, custom dog collar, safe and stylish. Okay, yeah, so I, so far, writing ad copy, figuring out what products they're selling or just diving deep into you know marketing angles, just getting ideas. Previously in some of my videos, we've gone into how to find those unique marketing angles, browsing different uh, you know review groups, positive reviews, negative reviews on Amazon. But honestly, this is a great uh, addition to that kind of system and you know something you should definitely keep in your tool shed to uh, you know when you're product researching, when you're doing any of these things. So let's continue down the road. Um, can you write a customer avatar for this product? All right, I'm gonna be pretty impressed if it can do this. Yeah, wow, okay, so right off the bat, it's just making a complete customer avatar for someone who would be interested in a personalized dog collar. So again, I, I, uh, I'm gonna read through this and just see you know, how accurate it is. And again, I haven't done the research on who would be interested in that, but just reading the first line says, meet Sarah, a 35 year old dog owner and animal lover who lives in a suburban neighborhood with her husband and two children. Sarah has always been passionate about animals and she loves nothing more than spending time with her beloved rescue dog. So, I mean, already it does seem like it has a very good understanding of the type of customer that would be buying a personalized dog collar. Adding this to your tool shed and utilizing AI to you know come up with customer avatars to kind of uh, you know dig deeper in your marketing. And like my last video said, you know, making sure you are kind of creating a customer avatar and all the different methods and all the different things we add to that using chat GPT, you know, completely, you know, I won't say replaces all the other ones, but it definitely adds value in using this one. All right. So now that we've gone through some of the, uh, you know, marketing product research, uh, customer avatar, what can it do internally for me? Um, so let's do, give me a list of customer service re uh, inquiries and replies. Okay, so here's a few potential customer service inquiries and replies for personalized dog collar. Wow, so that's, I mean, it's still using that string text of personalized dog collar. It's not like it just restarted and is giving me generic stuff that's like, where is my order? So inquiry, I'm having trouble placing an order on your website, can you help me? So this would be super helpful for anyone that's training a VA or even doing a customer service yourself. I know in the beginning, as I would get customer emails, I would kind of have to make up a response. And over time, you kind of build up a response template for each type of question that you can later pass on to your VA. But utilizing AI to figure out specific inquiry or specific questions that are more than likely gonna come up, providing your, your VA or um, you know whoever's doing your customer service with all of these different replies would be, you know, an excellent way to set them up for success and make sure your customer service is just on point and, you know, your customer is going to feel like they are being taken care of. I'm just going to read through one of them. It says, I received my personalized dog collar, but the text is misspelled. Can I get a replacement? And the reply that you could, you know, forward to your VA or send the customer says, 
We're sorry to hear that there was an issue with your personalized dog collar. Please accept our sincere apology for the mistake. We will be happy to send you a replacement collar at no additional cost. Please send us a photo of the misspelled collar along with your order number and the correct spelling of the text and we'll take care of the rest. Thank you for bringing this to our attention and please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any other questions or concerns. Now, obviously you do, like I said earlier in the video, want to make sure you're doing your due diligence. And you know, if you, if you don't want to offer uh, replacements for issues that were customers, uh, like if the customer messed up and they misspelled it and then you made how they spelled it, obviously you don't want to just be handing out replacements. So, but I will say this is a very good baseline and I'm going to have to give this a 10 out of 10 as far as uh, replies for customer inquiries. So moving down the list, let's see what else this, uh, you know, powerful AI is really capable of. Write a product description for the above product. I had a feeling it wouldn't really have any issues writing this one being that it pulled the entire, uh, you know, customer avatar from thin air. So this looks like a pretty good product description. Uh, I might go in and change a little bit of the copy, but for the most part, again, this is just such a solid baseline and, you know, is really cutting down on, uh, you know, the fact that you can kind of put in the AI and say, uh, you know, use this book for inspiration and create ad copy that's emotional and do this for this product. It is completely changing the industry and I definitely plan on using all of the things that I've kind of gone over in this video so far to you know really streamline some of these things in my own business and coming up with copy or uh, customer service inquiry. So let's see if, uh, let's see, first of all, let's see more, let's see if they make this product description more emotional. Yeah, so again, I mean, it's just blowing it out of the water. Um, let's try a hard one. Let's do write an ebook um, to comp to complement the above product. The ultimate guide to personalized dog collars. Um, okay, keeping your furry friend's unique personality and keeping them safe. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, I'm sure you could go through a few prompts or a few um, you know iterations of this thing writing an entire ebook for you and you should be able to put a few pages together and you'd be so, uh, you'd be solid. I mean, ultimately, I think AI has, uh, you know, brought a ton of new value to the e-commerce industry and I'm excited to continue using this in my business. So as the ebook continues to write, being that I guess it's going to write an entire ebook and now it's on chapter three. So ultimately, if you don't know where or how to guide this brand new technology, which is AI, uh, you know, moving into 2023 for your business, then it might as well just be a fancy supercar with no steering wheel because ultimately you need to know which questions that you can ask it. You need to know, you know, which information you can kind of pull out of it and which information or ad copy you need to rewrite. So while this is absolutely insane and I plan on using it in 2023 to scale my own businesses, again, make sure you are doing your own due diligence and can lead the ship and, you know, can really become that, you know, entrepreneur that you just continue to level yourself up. And uh, yeah, so if you got any value from this video, um, then make sure to like, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, by the way, most of this video uh, script was actually written by the AI, uh, aside from a few different things uh, in the beginning and the end. But thank you for joining me in this video and I will catch you in the next one.